we are now gonna get into the if statement so we have just learned the boolean value here now we're gonna apply it here but before we go um, over the yeah let me just uh, clear this here and now I'm going to type in the word if in lowercase it if and notice it's a keyword because it lights up in blue now we're just gonna break this down here one little piece at a time so just looking at if here it's gonna have an open parenthesis and a closing parenthesis here now inside these parentheses here will be a boolean value it'll either be true or it'll be false so keep in mind that boolean values are true or false here so what I want to do I'm going to type in the word true now now before I get into this here let me set up an example here so first thing I want to do I want to output I want to output a program statement. It can be any program statement. It can be a variable. I just want to output something to the screen, for example. And then I want to output your name here. Okay. So notice right here, this if true here does not have a semicolon on it. Because this is not a program statement here. But watch what happens here when I run this here. And I will explain what the if does here. It just prints my name as I am forever smart, 88 to the screen. I'll print off what is your name here. Now this is a little confusing right now, but here I'm going to show you this. Say I make this false. It just says what is your name. Well look at this here. How come it doesn't say my name is I am forever smart, 88? Well what this does here this I am this if statement here is referring to the very next program statement that is down below it here it's referring to the very next program statement here so now this is this is how the if statement works here so if this value in here is evaluated to true it will execute it it'll execute the program statement below it now if it's false it will not execute the program statement below it'll skip that program statement that is directly after the if thing here so if I put this up here on the next line here it'll, I mean it'll doesn't matter it, whatever comes first here it's gonna skip the next program statement that's what this if statement can do here so what if we want to skip more than one statement here? What if we want to skip two statements here? We can put these inside braces here. So this if statement here is referring to everything inside these braces here. So if I run this here, nothing is printed to the screen. Why? Because this is false here. Now if this is evaluated to false here, it is going to be skipping the entire of block of code inside these inside here when I refer to a block of code here I'm talking about things inside these braces here these two program statements here are enclosed inside these braces here so I can make another let's say I make a boolean variable and it equals 7 let's just say it equals true and I gotta give it a name let's call it boolean if I go to boolean here since boolean is equal to true it'll print these things out to here now if I set this to false it is not true and it will skip that line here so that's what we know about the if statement if it is true, 
it'll skip this here. No, 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 I'm sorry. If it is true, it'll execute everything inside in here. If it's false, it'll skip, skip everything inside these braces. And that's that. So, basically, it, we don't really need these braces here if we're only using one program statement. But to keep things as straightforward as possible here, we can just use these braces every time we make an if statement. Okay. So let me just show you one more example here. Let me just make another variable float and it is equal to let me make a float, let me call it um x here and it is equal to 6.1. Okay. And I'm going to close it. I got to use a semicolon to end the program statement. And now, let's say inside here, I say x is equal to, and let me delete this program statement here, x is equal to 999.1. And then at the end here, I want to output x. Well, what do you think it's going to output here? Let me make this smaller so we can see everything. Looking at this code here, what do you think it's going to output? It outputs 6.1. Why is that? Because this right here is this here is set to false. Because this is false here, the if statement is false, we'll skip everything inside this block of code. Now if I set this to true here, it'll output 999.1. And yep, that's it. So if it's true, it'll execute everything in here. And now there can be all kinds of things that can go inside this if statement. So we got several different things that we can make in here. So, and we can we can choose to skip statements here, and we can also choose to execute them depending on a condition here. So that's what we know about the if statement so far. This is just an introduction here. Now in the next video. I'm going to be going over relational operators. So we can't do too much with the if statement yet, but all we do know is that depending on the value of true or false here, it may or may not execute this code here, depending on this condition here, whether it'll be true or false. So that's the end of this video here. And um, hopefully things start are going to start to fit together here. And um, let's just keep on moving. So I'm hoping everything is very clear. Because that's the point of these videos is to make these as clear as possible. So let's get on to the next tutorial.